Hi, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Game Dev Bits. I'm Tim. Now today, what we're going to have a look at is how to cut holes in your terrain. Now, a standard Unity terrain is based on a height map. So effectively, the terrain is a single flat surface and the height map data uses a black and white image to decide how tall each part is. What that means is a single piece of the terrain, once it's flat, can only be raised or lowered. It can't move left or right. So terrains end up with this effect where things just flow from one spot to another. There's no overhangs, there's no caves, there's none of that. So what we're going to do is learn how to use the paint holes tool uh, so we can fake putting a cave in. So let's come down to where our grass is. Paint. And what we want to choose is paint holes. So we'll just click. Each of these squares is a pixel on our terrain texture. So we'll paint this hole in here. As you can see, there's a big hole in our terrain. And from there, what you would do is fill the hole with the things that you want. So if we go into our, our rocks, go, let's go in here. We want to grab our rock tile. All right, so now we've made a little bit of a floor. Then what we need is just some walls in our cave. So let's just grab another rock here. And then we can clone and rotate a bunch of those into place. There we go. We've created the back wall and then you will cover up the entrance with things like rocks and boulders and we can just scale and rotate those into place, working our way around just to cover everything up and make it look a little bit more natural. And that's all there is to it. You'll obviously have to take a lot more time and care and build your own cave, but once you paint a terrain hole, you can then fill it with a mesh or many meshes and do what you need. And now our terrain is not a, a rolling set of hills anymore. We've got somewhere to set up with some bandits, even a shelter from the wind. Anything you need. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all this possible.